Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, this week, we're gonna talk a little bit about, all right, a snippet of how you better understand pricing, all right, so you can better service your clients. All right, look, and I'm not beating up the media, but the media looks at pricing really using a median pricing versus average pricing. Now, without getting that in, getting into the specifics here, I wanna tell you this, you know, both median pricing and average pricing has its place to be utilized, all right? The problem is, is none of these are effective when you're representing a single client, and that's what our message is all about today, all right? So first, when we are dealing with really virtually any aspect, but specifically pricing, I have to tell you, please do not fall into the trap of generalizing the market. So when your clients, first thing you have to explain is when your clients are reading in the paper, be it that they use median or average, and most of the time they use a median price model, guess what? For their individual house, in their individual location, okay, because we need to stay as professionals hyper-local for that individual client, it's virtually worthless. Maybe fun reading, all right? Maybe interesting because you wanna learn more about just the overall market or what's going on in a general sense, okay, throughout the economy, either nationally or locally, but as it comes to helping that individual client, I'm telling you, it's worthless. And the more we let those types of stats lead any presentation, my opinion, okay, you're not only misguided, but you're doing a disservice to that particular client. Look, everything for an individual client needs to be hyper-local, all right? It depends on product type, certainly depends on location, okay? It depends on uh, amenities, okay? It depends on the age of the product, okay? What's in and what's not in. All right, whatever the case may be is, I'll tell you this much, it's all about that location and that product specifically. So rule one, do not generalize in any way, shape or form. Every time you're generalizing, you're now changing the real truth, okay, to too big of an area and no longer is it about the client you're trying to serve. Secondly, okay, this is big. Regardless, once you do your homework, regardless if prices are moving up or they're moving down in an area, specific area after your home, or they're staying the same, all of those areas can be a benefit depending on what the goals of your client is. Let me give you an example. Your client wants to sell their home and buy another home in the same area. Okay, when I mean the same area, let's say they're staying in town and they're buying here. They're not moving to another state. They're buying another home in town. Well, guess what? Depending on where they wanna go, okay, prices moving up could be a big benefit to them depending on what their property is gonna sell for, okay, depending on what they're going to buy. Don't assume that because these prices are moving up, okay, those prices are moving up. You don't know. It depends on what they're looking for. See, that's the trap that sometimes sellers fall into and they see prices moving up generally in the media and they assume what? Well, my house must be moving up. And then you do your analysis and based on price range and location and amenities and everything that I sh shared with you is, guess what? They've, re they've moved up a little bit so it's been a healthy market, but nowhere near these generalized stats. Look, pricing is really, really important, no doubt. But you know what's more important than pricing? You understanding pricing and making sure the dialogue and the presentation you have, most importantly, and I promise you they'll love this, is all about that client. And anytime a client moves you away, talking about them and their area and their product type and their price range, your job is to bring them back home, hyper-local, so the message you're delivering is the correct one. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.